Uh, these are all kind of common sounds that we've heard at some point, right? Leaf blowers in your neighborhood, maybe sirens down the road, but all these everyday sounds could be doing something pretty serious to us. Take a look. For most of us, let's say maybe an outdoor concert, festival, sporting event, or maybe even just throwing in our earbuds and going for a hike, maybe in our plans for the summer. The studies are now showing that these common everyday sounds can be a recipe for hearing loss. Hearing loss is actually the third most common chronic physical condition in the United States. It is twice as common as diabetes or cancer. That is why Dave Gellis, lead guitarist for the rock band Blood, Sweat and Tears, who suffers from hearing loss and Dr. Eric Branda are both joining me this morning. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in. Pleasure. Hi. Dave, let's start with you. Uh, you know, we were talking about us kind of going to concerts. Some those sounds are something you're very familiar with. How has hearing loss actually affected you? Well, uh, long before I did this professionally, I was uh, one of the guys going to the concerts too. And uh, the loss happened over a long period of time, uh, long-term exposure. Uh, you don't notice it overnight, but I was finding very quickly that I was saying what a lot. And after I'd say what, I'd say it three or four more times and still not get it. And I was noticing that people around me were getting it. Uh, my TV was cranked up very loud so I could hear the dialogue and music began to sound very dull when I listened to it. I wasn't really getting treble frequencies like I had at one time, and it, when this all came together, I knew something was wrong. And so how is it that uh, hearing aid technology, I know it's advancing, I feel like every moment we talk about this, how is it helping you on your everyday life? It sure is. Each new generation of hearing aids, uh, they're making spectacular advances. They sound so much better and clearer. Uh, at the moment, I'm using a brand new pair of Celeon hearing aids by a company named Signia. Um, these things are unbelievable. Environmental sounds, the things that I hadn't heard in years, the sound of running water and birds outdoors, but really more importantly, the ability to distinguish speech, uh, especially in loud environments. I've got a special setting that I use occasionally that will uh, take background noise like a bunch of people in a crowded place or maybe machinery and it pushes it all down making it much softer and accentuates the speech of people in a, in a close proximity. I can't tell you how great this is. Uh, in some cases I'm told that it's actually better than natural hearing because of the electronics involved. Um, so for the most part for me I'm, I feel like I'm back in the game. It's really quite life changing. And doctor, I know we're talking, uh, you know, about these advancements, but let's back up just a tad bit. Are there things that we can do maybe to prevent this? So some things we need to do on preventing hearing loss, especially the noise induced hearing loss, because a lot of things like aging or medical conditions, you can't necessarily prevent. But when it comes to noise exposure, um, when you've got those earbuds, turn them down. Um, if, if you're doing something in, in a loud environment, Wear some hearing protection. I mean, you want to protect what you've got. A kind of a little rule of thumb, if you have to shout to be heard, it's probably too loud. And I, I think that these are things we can all, no matter where we're at in our life, kind of implement those. And I know we were just talking about some of those advancements uh, that are helping Dave. Are there other things that we should know about that are available today that maybe people don't even know could be helping them? So, I. A main focus when there is a hearing loss coming in is what hearing technology can do. And Dave was talking a lot of the things we're doing there because we're, we're doing a lot of miniaturization, so cosmetics are very important. And what the technology is doing is really looking to make sound audible, make it clear whether it's going to be quiet or a noisy environment, let that speech really come out. Or music, we can do things to help prioritize music. But also, we, we recharge a lot of our devices. So rechargeable hearing aid technology is there, which is especially important for somebody with dexterity issues. If the hands aren't working as good as they used to, putting a hearing aid in a charger makes it much simpler for them. And then we even start connecting to things like their iPhone. You can actually take a call directly into the hearing aids through the prescription for the hearing loss. So there's a lot of things we do in terms of technology to really let the wearer live their life. Well, doctor, and is there anywhere where we can go online to research even more of those options? So we have a lot of information on our website. It's signiausa.com, and you can find, about, out, find out about hearing, hearing loss, and technology. Doctor, thank you for that information. Dave, thank you so much for uh, sharing your personal story with us today. A pleasure. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.